reports a worker recovering after being mauled by a dog of the cane corso breed. News source Dylan Brown got an update on that worker. Dylan, how is she doing? Well, fortunately, she survived, and that's how Jonathan Gary at the OKC Animal Shelter put it today. Nearly killed she was at one of the worst they've had there. Today, though, that presser ended up saying the incident brings up staffing safety as a whole. Thursday night, a woman working at the Oklahoma City Animal Shelter mauled by a cane corso, a dog that looks like this with a bite PSI higher than a lion. He was here on dangerous charges, so he's been charged, well, the owner's been charged with harboring a dangerous dog. At a press conference Friday, Superintendent Jonathan Gary not identifying the worker. He says she was alone with the animal nearly killed workers, not knowing she was there. They are, they are trained to respond to those types of situations, and uh, this incident just was unfortunate. Gary says the dog was in a dangerous dog kennel at the time and got out. In a different kennel? Is there a dangerous, we, dangerous kennel now? No, we, we, uh, there are ways for us to secure that where we know that they, he can't get out. This bringing up safety concerns. K4 has received several emails from former workers saying safety hasn't been a concern. There's understaffing and overworked employees that are an issue. Do you need more resources? Do you need more staff here? We really struggled to get staff in and so uh, we're having to make some, some changes. All of our guys have been working over 50 hours a week for, for quite some time now and, and we really needed to, you know, for their well-being, do something for them to try to get them back to a normal work schedule. The shelves were announcing closures Sundays and Mondays. We, we, we struggled with, we really didn't want to have to do, but at this point in time we just felt like it was really what's best for the animals that were in our care as well as the community that we're serving. Now we are waiting on possible surveillance footage of that unfortunate incident. August 13th, that's the date when they'll start closing Mondays and Sundays. And of course, MAPS4 funding is said to actually build a whole new shelter near its current location, but doesn't focus too much on funding staffing specifically. All right.